Hey everybody, this is Fran from the 5 Minute Modeler and uh, last week I posted a video showing the unboxing of the new Atlas GP9 Gold Series with the sound and as I mentioned in that video I did not like the sound of the horns and uh, or the bell actually for that matter and so I reached out to Atlas and I asked them if there's a way to change that. They were extremely helpful, it came right back and, uh, and provided a document. It's a pretty simple thing. I'm gonna show you how I do it with the, uh, the NCE power cab. And uh, it'll differ a little bit probably with the uh, Digitrax or some of the others. But at least this will show you how I did it here. And, uh, and it's really simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one and then I'm going to go through and cycle through all the different horns so you can hear the horns and then I'll talk a little bit about the bells because the bells are, are pretty much the uh, same and uh, there's just fewer of the, uh, options on those. So right now I think there's like 14 or 15 options on the horn and uh, it's really simple on how to do this. Uh, as you can see, I've already set this up for my locomotive, which is number 4921, which is the road name it came with. It was at... Um, it was at three, which is the standard uh, engine number when the engines come in new. And so I changed that. Uh, that's, that's easy to do with the NCE. But to change the horn, we're gonna go to the uh, program button. We'll press that once. And then it says program on main, and that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna hit enter. Then it says program locomotive number 4921. And again, I'm going to say enter, and now it's giving me an option to uh, program either the address or the CV or a configuration. And we're going to pick two, which is the CV. And now we're going to ask, it's asking us for which CV do we want to change. And we want to change number one. Whoops. One. Mr. the wrong button there. Six. Three. Okay. Now we hit enter, and now we can change the value. And it's currently set at value zero, which is that horn that I had last week when I opened it up. So let's just select horn number one. We'll hit enter, and it's gonna give us the option to change another one if we wanted to, but let's just hit the program escape button down at the bottom there, and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that doesn't sound a whole lot different than the other one. Uh, so we're gonna go to the next one. So program escape, program on main, locomotive, enter, CV number two, and then we're gonna pick one, six, three, and we're gonna go to one of the other ones, which will, uh, let's take number five. Enter five, enter, whoop drop my controller and let's see what that sounds like okay and that's a little bit different sounding horn so I'm gonna go through the cycle here uh, 0 1 through 14 and uh, we'll uh, let you hear each of the different horns so that you can listen in and pick out the horn that is uh, best for your model uh, I did find that the the GPs nines tended to use a, a Nathan M3 horn. There were several different con, uh, configurations of that. Uh, they're listed on the uh, document that I'm going to put down in the, uh, in the, in the uh, comment section. So let's listen to different different horns.
Okay, to change the bell sound is very similar. We're gonna do the same actions here. We're gonna hit the program escape button. It's gonna say program on main. So we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna select our lo logo. And we're gonna select two for CV. And the CV for the bells is one, six, four. And then we hit enter. And now it's gonna ask us for the values. And we have values uh, zero through five. So let's start at five just to see what it sounds like. And you do have to hit the program escape button here when it, it does provide you that, that prompt for another CV. So just hit the program escape. Now we should be good to go. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay. Now I just, you can cycle through all of these. I won't go through all those different sounds here, but you can uh, listen to them on your own there. There's, uh, like I said, five or six of those. And uh, I'll put the, uh, the instructions here on a card here at the end so you can uh, write those down and, and program your own. But as I said earlier, it is extremely easy to program these with the NCE Power Cab. And I wish you good luck and happy model railroading. Thanks a lot.